everyone watching through your screens, and happy March Caprice! If you're watching during March Caprice, you may be asking questions like, what is this cool, awesome new video you have? Is it a new mod? Is it something new? What's the new thing? I come bearing news. Teams at the beginning. Ding, ding, all... ding, 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 ding. Um, Melody of Memory modding made great strides when it first came out into the scene. Um, I'm gonna leave that in. I mean, with a little work, it could have become a really cool alternative to Frets on Fire, like the Guitar Hero, but the off-brand, I think, actually, I don't know what it is. 100% I should have Googled that. I think it's like a modded version of Guitar Hero. Anyway, anyways, <clears throat> not the point of my video today. What is the point of my video? I don't want to overhype what I have in store, but I think you guys are really going to like it. But before we get to the video, this video is sponsored, not really, by the Wayfinder Project. If you want a really easy, comprehensible way of finding media for your Kingdom Hearts videos, or if you need footage of a confusing, out of context clip from Kingdom Hearts for a quick meme about how complicated the story is for your Legend of Zelda deep dive essay, then look no further than the Wayfinder Project. This is the next iteration on Mercury Pat's amazing initial collated data spreadsheet. The only work done extra was essentially adding the scripts, which Pat also documented, and a search system to the data he and his cohorts had already collected. So I basically did nothing for this project, but yeah, this is basically what I've been doing since the KH3 randomizer, uh, until I started working on this new project. What if you want to play all the new custom tracks people have created with the ReChart? The chart creator for Melody of Memory made in a collaborative effort with a lot of dedicated individuals. Well, now you can load up the game and start straight away. What if you just want to flip through the platinum cards you definitely earned playing the game 100% legitimately? Well, now you can load up the game and do just that. What if you wanted to unlock all the party members at launch? Well, now Resave makes its way into ReChart. With this amazing tool at your hand, conveniently built into ReChart, you'll be able to unlock everything or modify things at your whimsy. No more having to grind out levels just so you can play a custom chart. I know that was short, sorry, Pat helped me at Airsoft Point to talk about the Wayfinder project, but I just want to thank you all so much. Without you, none of this would be possible, and I really hope you enjoy this new accessibility option. I know it was a, like not very big, but I do really want to make this kind of my coming back into the space. Um, so now you can all jump into the songs with your friends using the online mod I created previously with all these new custom charts. Thank you for watching. But wait, there's more! Have you ever wanted to play custom charts in Melody of Memory that we literally were just talking about, but didn't know how to download them, install them, or even handle them? With the latest update, ReDLC will be coming to ReChart, becoming an all-encompassing way to handle custom charts. These charts will not override existing songs, and will directly insert them into the game as their own tracks. Build your own track and then upload it straight to the hosted database that will allow anyone that has ReChart the ability to access them. Honestly, this is something I wanted to do when the game first came to PC, but I just was caught up in different modding things, and then I had real life happen. Crazy, I know. So I'm honestly so happy to be able to finally bring this out. I think this was the main reason people weren't able to fully appreciate the custom tracks people have already created. So I'm happy for this accessibility feature for everyone. We have amazing charts from people like Lyman, Lucian, other people, there's tons of people that have made custom charts. And now everyone has very simple access to install all of these to their copies of Melody of Memory. Okay, thank you for sitting through the fake out for the big news, but again, I just want to thank you all so much. Please enjoy the limitless amounts of creativity that people have put into these custom tracks. But wait, <laughs> but wait, there's even more. Coming to ReChart, we have the world's first ever Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, Randomizer. With this new feature to ReChart, you'll be able to randomize any song into the experience for the world trip, meaning custom tracks and songs only in track selection will now be available to play in the world trip. But that's not all. You'll also have an objective to collect Kyrie's seven heart pieces to unlock the final battle and complete the randomizer. Heartless will have a piece of her heart, and you'll need to retrieve them and complete the song to open up more of the worlds. Obtain hints by completing enough missions or chance on a new heart piece to unlock more of the world trip as you progress to find each heart piece. All right. That's all everyone, stay tuned for more info dropping later this year for the big update to Melody of Memory ReChart Crescendo. But wait, <laughs> that's the end. I really, really wanted to have all this ready to release along with this video, but unfortunately I have so much going on right now, so I'm still in the middle of finalizing some UI and accessibility features, as well as sending this out to some dedicated fans and beta testers. It felt so good to go back to a code base that I really enjoyed reverse engineering and also interacting with really kind and sweet people again. I will drop an update video so that everyone knows when and how to access this amazing new content. Thank you all and happy March Caprice. 
And bada boom, bada boom. How do I stop this? 